Okay, if you're in a mixed faith marriage and you start to get a grip, a handle on a cycle, like you start to have awareness around the cycle that you are in, in that marriage, I'm gonna give you a little tool to help you then know what to do with that. Sometimes we'll like do all this work and then we'll recognize the cycle and then we're like, ah, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay, four steps. If you can recognize a cycle, maybe that's the criticism defense cycle any number of cycles, when you realize that there's this pattern of behavior you're engaging in, four things to help you. I got these from Corinne Crabtree, so I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. One is to notice the patterns of thoughts. Like what are the thoughts that kick in to get this pattern, this cycle going? What are your thoughts? Notice what they are. What are, what are those feelings? Notice what they are. Build your internal awareness what's happening internally when you externally take place in the cycle. Number two, normalize what you're thinking and feeling. Don't beat yourself up. How can I think this? Why am I always feeling this? Why do I do this? You can normalize that this is your experience. Number three, neutralize it. Okay, you're a human, having a human experience. This isn't to castigate you. This isn't to punish you. This isn't to shame you into making different choices. Like neutralize it. And then number four, What's the next best thought? What's the next best question? What's the next best action? What's the next best thing you can do here to make this situation a little bit better? Okay, hope you found it helpful. This is Brooke Booth, life coach for Mormons in a mixed state marriage.